everyone. Welcome to Positive Power with Michelle Dion. Thanks for joining me for another week of uplifting uh, stories, articles, so much positive stuff going on in the world. But I have to tell you, you know, that being said, and every week I say my same little thing about all the good thing that's going, good things that are going on in the world. Quite often it's easy to miss, isn't it? You know, I was just looking on the computer here, <clears throat> looking at social media myself, and quite often after you look at it for a while, it really gets draining and tiring, doesn't it? You know, you see all the interactions, all the stories, all the posts of things that you can't control. People get so caught up in things that there's nothing we can do about. And it's unfortunate because honestly, it's not worth your energy. We're all made of energy and it's coming to be proven more and more scientifically. Quantum physics is showing that we are essentially all made of energy and like attracts like. So what you put out is what you get back. And you need to really be careful what you focus your energy on. And when you see stuff, especially when it's to do with politics or anything that we have no control over, when you focus it and you give it your energy, you do, you find yourself feeling drained and tired and beaten down. You know, no wonder we're having issues with depression and anxiety epidemics going on throughout North America because we all feel like we've lost control. And it's tough. It's tough to pull yourself back out of that. So we need to actually make a conscious effort to do that. And hopefully I can help you. That is my goal, right? That's what I like to do, my part of it. So I put some interesting articles on my Positive Power Hour page. I really think that it's worth it and you're worth it to check it out and to help boost yourself up and feel like there's things going on in the world that do give us some power back. It's the people that are making the change that we need to focus on, not the people that are seeing bad things going on in the world instead of helping someone else, they pull out their camera. I find that quite disturbing and I never support those videos, just FYI. You know, when you sit and you watch those videos or you share them, even if you're saying, hey, be aware, share these so people don't do it, you are encouraging the person who has the video camera. I hope you know that. That's why they're doing it, because they're looking and going, a million people watched my video. That's awful. That is so disturbing. So, you know, refuse to participate. But I encourage you to participate in sharing the good stories. One of the stories that I put on there um, is about a brilliant Canadian doctor who invented an iron fish to help save people from anemia. You know, in other third world countries, quite often anemia is such a problem, and that's a lack of iron in your system. It's such a problem that people are actually dying from it. So what this doctor came up with is a little iron fish. You put it in your soup or whatever it is that you're making. It draws the iron out of the fish, and in turn, it can supplement 75% of the iron that you need in a healthy body. That is a solution. We need to be solution-oriented people. Also on that page, I put on two different stories about organ organic gardening. We know our food is getting too industrialized. So, being proactive, there's a story about a woman. She's growing organic food and giving it away to people. Just giving it away. No money needed. You need food. I have food. I want to share with you. Another story is about a grocery store that grows herbs right on the shelves. So you know there's no pesticides. It's 100% organic. That's what we need. We need to follow the solution people and focus on things that make a difference, make us feel good, and things that are changing the world for the better. So that's my message for this week. Thank you for tuning in. Go to my page, check out those stories, and I hope you have a fabulous week. The sun is shining, as you can see. It's a beautiful day, and you're a beautiful person. So make the most of it. And remember, you never know what can happen tomorrow, so enjoy today.